So we're about to enter Silver Bay Marina. So sadly, we have lost her number. In our last episode, we got ready to take off on a two-week vacation to the Apostle Islands. But before we left, we got some very good news from Victor's veterinarian. Mr. Victor, who is uh, newly declared heartworm free. Woohoo! Our plan was to head to Port Wayne for the first night. Then the following day, we would push all the way to Bayfield, Wisconsin to seek shelter at a marina while we waited out some bad weather. Trying to get there by tomorrow evening. We're trying to get there by tomorrow evening because after that, the weather forecast says we'll have two days of rain and thunderstorms. The trip to Port Wing was calm but beautiful, and we arrived just before sunset. The next morning, we immediately checked the weather forecast to see if there were any updates. And yeah, there was a change. Now, instead of the thunderstorm starting in the late evening, the nasty weather was expected to start in the early afternoon. If this turned out to be accurate, we would only be about halfway to Bayfield by the time the storms hit. And not just one storm, but a string of one after another. Not a very pleasant way to spend the first several days of a well-earned vacation. We really didn't want to turn back home, so we decided to change direction and go north to Silver Bay. At just 30 nautical miles, we were confident we could get there safely and ahead of the severe weather. Unfortunately, the wind was light and coming from right behind us out of the south at five knots. So sailing was once again not an option. As we motored along, it was a little eerie, moving at basically the same speed as the wind. When I peeked my head out from inside the cockpit, the air was almost completely still. So we just went past a sailboat. We had to alter course for him out in the middle of all this. Pretty unreal. And Victor's unfazed. So we are underway. It's about uh, 9.15. We should get there about 1 o'clock. Making good headway. Going about 5 knots. Under motor. We've got very little wind. I was watching out for freighters and hit pass and all the course that were on a very slow moving sailboat. Other than that, it's been a good trip so far. The sun actually just came out, so that's kind of nice. Warm things up a little bit.
So I just called and I talked to Dean at Silver Bay Marina and we have a slip available. So we'll be heading in there. We should get there about one o'clock, which is about an hour and a half. So sadly, we have lost her number. There's her ducky. You happy to be here? Huh? Happy to have the engine turned off. Me too. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, well, we're here in Silver Bay for the first time, so it was a good opportunity to check this out. It's a beautiful marina. We got here ahead of the thunderstorm that's expected in about an hour or so. So, um, I'm happy to be here. So we just got back from taking the doggies for a walk. And got a chance to look at the uh, doggy play area. Or the hiking area, probably more accurate. So we're supposed to be getting a storm at 2 o'clock and it's 1 minute to 2. Yeah. And it hasn't happened. As of yet. It's a few clouds, but it doesn't look, doesn't look like much yet. So, said severe thunderstorm, 70% chance, so, mm -hmm. got here in plenty of time. Yes. So we're going to make something to eat, I'm going to go up and check in with the marina, and have a beer. Or shall I say, I'm going to have a cold beverage. Just a few minutes later, we saw a familiar sight coming into the marina. Sailing vessel Nokomis and her crew who were docked next to us in Superior several years ago. Since that time, Nokomis had been across the Great Lakes, through the locks and canals, and across the Atlantic Ocean to Ireland and most of Western Europe. Now she was back, and it was great seeing our friends again and getting reconnected. 
but first we had to take shelter because that storm we were expecting had finally arrived. Here's that storm. Yeah. Well, you can come back up. Come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Oh, you're very handsome. Over there. And it's coming towards us, that big red strip. Wow. And so. <laughs> this is why we don't want to be on an anchor with two dogs. Taking them now. Oh, sure. Rain suit. Why would you need that? <laughs> I just thought, you know, the off chance just in case on the off chance that it might rain out here. We match. <laughs> would you say this was? <laughs> Our anniversary. Gifts to each other. Our anniversary gifts to each other. New rain suits. For the girl who has almost everything. Yes. Happy 18 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. Silver Bay is a relatively new marina on the north shore of Lake Superior, completed in the late summer of 1999. There are 110 slips and plenty of room to maneuver around the docks. The dockage rates are reasonable and the marina is clean and well maintained with nice amenities and lots of green space for walking the dogs. Another former dock neighbor of ours, Rick, on SV Serenity was also there. About the only complaint we could have about Silver Bay was that when the wind is that perfect angle off the lake from the south, the swell gets past the break wall and makes it a little rolly in the marina. Our friends who now keep their boats there all said that this was highly unusual. Lucky us. With a park adjacent to the property, we took the opportunity to cool off in the lake before the next set of storms arrived. Yet another familiar vessel in this marina was in the slip right next to us, the 35-foot Columbia cruiser formerly named Dolphin 2. This was the sailboat owned by Ron and Bonnie Dahl. Bonnie is the author of The Superior Way, which is probably the most recognized and respected cruising guide for Lake Superior. A true piece of Great Lakes history right next door. So, Jill, what are we doing? We're doing another round of walking before the next daisy chain of storms hit. That's correct. It's coming in up the lake this time, this direction. Yep, this time the weather forecast was spot on. So, we were thankful to have a place to hunker down for a few days while we waited out the rain and storms. 
but we were also excited to move on and finally get to the Apostle Islands, where we would have quiet anchorages, sandy beaches, hiking trails to explore, and hopefully some good sailing in between the destinations. We were glad we had given ourselves a little more time for this trip. Surely two weeks would be plenty of time to catch the right weather window and deal with any other unexpected occurrences that might arise. Or so we thought. <laughs> the saga continues in our next video. We hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. and let the puppy dogs out again. Both tails go on. Do you want to go tight, Raven? Raven, you want to go tight? Your tail's not going. You know better. Make sure I want to go. You want to go pee on stuff? You want to go too, Raven? Yes, good girl. How about you, Joe? Do you want to go?